Hey Sea Dragons, welcome to Art. I'm Mr. Horner. For this week's art project, we're going to think about the question, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go and why? We're going to practice drawing a picture by looking at a photograph. It's going to be similar to when I showed you in another video how to look at something and draw it, just like I did here. I looked at this stuffed animal and I drew it on the paper. We're going to look at a photograph. Here's my photo. I'm going to draw this one, and I'm going to draw that into my sketchbook because that's the place I want to go. So that's the skill we're going to work on is drawing from a photo. Let's try it out. Before you start drawing, you'll need to find a picture of your place. You could find a picture from a book of a place that you want to go to. It could be from a family photo. It could be, even be a place you've been to before or a place that you want to go with your family someday. You could also look at Google Images and search for pictures of the place that you want to go. I've chosen to use a book for my reference picture because it makes it easy for you to see on the video and it's easy for my eyes to not have to look at the screen while I'm drawing. So using a book is a great option. Um, it just sits there. It's not going to turn off or run out of battery. Once you've found your picture that you're going to draw, I'd like you to follow these steps that we practice. We've practiced this in all of our drawing projects. Uh, we follow these steps to do our best drawings. Use pencil and paper to make your drawing, not the computer. We're spending a lot of time on the computer and it's great for some things, but for drawing it feels a lot better and it's better for our brains to make our drawing with pencil and paper um, and be able to touch those materials with our hands. Then you color everything after you've done your pencil drawing. You're going to color everything in and outline to finish the drawing. I'll show you all those steps as we go. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go and why? If I could travel anywhere, I would go to the Louvre Museum in Paris, France because there is a lot of really famous artwork that I've admired for a long time that's stored there and I'd like to go and see that artwork in person. You can draw any place that you want. Uh, for my picture I'm going to draw the Louvre Museum and this is a picture of that place right here. This is the old building and so is this back here. It's a huge museum and then this pyramid was added later um, maybe 30 or 40 years ago. It's a newer part big glass pyramid there. It's going to be a lot of fun to draw. When we're looking at a picture to draw it, we don't always have to copy every single thing that's in the photograph. We might not draw all the people. Uh, we might take out some parts of this courtyard here because we don't need all of it. We're going to focus on those buildings and make those fill up most of the picture. So you can change what you see a little bit, but you want to capture what's important about the place. Now the thing to remember as we start to draw is you want to look and draw, look and draw, look and draw. Over and over you're going to check your picture as you draw. I'm going to start with this building here and I see parts of it go straight up. It's almost like a rectangle but in the picture these are angled a little bit. So that's going to look kind of like going up, all these pieces going up, I have this piece of building here I'm going to go back and add some more details to that, but first I'm going to get everything about where I want it over here. So next I'll just build off of what I started with and add this piece on there. I see it starts a little bit below this line that I have, so let's start it here. Goes about to there. Then we're getting close to the pyramid here. Let's start putting that pyramid in. And we have this building back here, that little tower coming out from behind the pyramid. 
So I'm looking for where that is and then trying to put it in the right spot in my drawing. Before I go on to coloring, I'm going to make sure that I've done all my work in pencil to get all the shapes that I want. I'm missing a lot of details on this building. I'm going to add some of the windows and the arches. It'll be a lot more fun to color if I have all of those interesting shapes to go around uh, before I get to coloring. If I colored it now, things would be pretty flat, but I'll make sure to get some of those details and then color after. Now that I've gone over, I did my simple shapes first to put everything where I want it to be. Then I did my details to fill things in. Now my drawing is ready to color. And I'm looking at a picture that has no color and it's just black and white. So I'm going to be making up my colors. And I'm going to try to make it fun and interesting. Maybe some of the colors won't make any sense, but I think it'll be a cool drawing when it's done. You can change your colors if you want to, uh, to make it more fun to draw or you could try to match the beautiful colors that you see in the picture that you're using. I'm going to use my crayons because I like to mix them together and I think they're kind of fun to, uh, they're kind of thick when you color them on and then you can mix colors and it just looks really cool when they're all mixed together. So let's see how this turns out with color. Once you've colored everything in, the last thing to finish things up is to use a dark crayon to outline where you did your pencil lines before. So that's around your first shapes you had. So I have some right here that I can see. So I'm going with a dark color around that. And that can help uh, clean up the edges of shapes and make everything look a little bit more finished and exciting to look at. There's my artwork with everything colored in and outlined. I can't wait to see everything that you all come up with, all of your amazing ideas and places that you want to go. It's going to be so fun to see your drawings. When you upload a picture of your drawing to Seesaw, please tell me if you could go anywhere, where would you go and why? Have fun. See you all later.